gives me great pleasure to be here in Kesna to celebrate another Christmas season with you, personnel of the year component of Joint Tax Force Operation Hadar and Daji. While this occasion provides an invaluable opportunity to bond with frontline troops to promote comradeship and esprit de corps, it also provides a forum for me to appreciate and keep you abreast of some of our most recent efforts towards the successes of operations in the Northwest. The ceremony is also an appropriate occasion for us to remember our colleagues who have paid the ultimate price in the service of, of our fatherland. While we pray for the continuous peaceful repose of their gentle souls, we are invigorated that the contributions and supreme sacrifices of these fallen heroes will never be in vain. As we continue the fight against insurgency and banditry, bedeviling our dear nation, I want to commend and appreciate their resoluteness and gallantry. This year, within a flight time of almost 1,400 hours, the air components conducted over 1,300 sorties, comprising air interdiction, arm breaking, and close air support missions, amongst others. Notable among these missions was the elimination of the key bandit kingpin, Ali Kawaji, and several others. These successes by the air component operation Hadden Daji, in synergy with other security agencies, have continued to contribute to security within the region. I am indeed impressed by the gains you have made so far in this theatre of operation. Well done to you all. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am fully aware that the successes recorded are a direct result of the contributions of every officer airman and airwoman deployed to this theatre. I therefore urge you not to relent in your efforts and dedication to the fight against banditry and insurgency in Nigeria. Please remember that the nation is proud of you and depends on you to deliver on our constitutional mandates as an Air Force. In pursuit of the Nigerian Air Force's mission and in line with my command philosophy, to transform the Nigerian Air Force into an agile and resilient force that effectively meets the air power demands of national security in all operational environments. In the last six months since assumption of office, I have accentuated platforms acquisition to facilitate the employment and projection of air power capabilities. So far, the service has received additional platforms, including four Diamond 62 multipurpose aircraft, two T-129 attack helicopters, and one Beechcraft King Gear 360 aircraft. Other pending acquisitions include two CASA 295 medium airlift surveillance aircraft, 12 AH-1 Zulu attack helicopters, and 24 M346 attack aircraft. All these acquisitions demonstrate the federal government's deep commitment to equipping the Nigerian Air Force for the safe conduct of training and agile air power employment to meet the nation's security challenges. Furthermore, these acquisition initiatives have been accompanied by deliberate and focused training, which cuts across all specialties and traits of the Nigerian Air Force. Such training boosts the morale of our personnel and has a resultant effect on the operational readiness of the service. In addition to training, rest assured, we will continue prioritizing the welfare of troops, particularly those of you on the front lines. I must note at this juncture that the achievements we have made so far would not have been possible without the holistic support of the federal government governments of the states in the Northwest, as well as the synergy among security agencies and the co cooperation of the host communities. I therefore express our profound gratitude to the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, 
President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for its relentless support and commitment to the cause of the Nigerian Air Force in particular and the Armed Forces in general. I also appreciate the goodwill and support from the State Governor, Malam Diko Omaru Rada, eminent traditional fathers, political leaders, and the good people of Katsina State. This support is deeply appreciated. Our appreciation also goes to the host communities for their cooperation, hospitality, and provision of credible intelligence to support our operations in the theater. Our collective efforts has contributed significantly to the arduous task of ridding the country of banditry and criminality. Once more, let me use this opportunity to urge you not to relent in your efforts. We must remain resolute and committed to our professional duties as members of the Nigerian Air Force who are willing, able, and ready to defend our nation against all threats from the air. As we relentlessly face the menace of terrorism, banditry and insurgency, and other criminal activities, our strength lies not only in our might, but also in being adeptly agile and unwavering, unwaveringly resilient. In all our operational environments, we shall shape and dominate the battlefield, the battlefield to defeat these threats, ensuring that the light of justice, peace and pro prosperity prevail over the darkness of insecurity. On our part at the headquarters, we shall continue to provide all the necessary administrative and logistic support to ensure that you conduct your operations successfully. In the spirit of Christmas, I enjoin you to seize this moment to increase the camaraderie among yourselves. You must also increase, you must also ensure that you contact your families back home to assure them of your well-being and share my message of love and sacrifice that the Christmas season entails. Once again, I say well done to you all, a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year in advance. Thank you all and God bless.